we have got our ticket. Indeed, now we've got our supply sheet. And in we go then, shall we? Let's put some up there. Hi guys, we're over the footbridge and back in action. Yes, yes. Fantastic. In look. Oh yes, there's Toby. Good morning, Toby. Good morning, Henry Toby. Henry. What a wonderful day. Look at that lovely diesel over there. Look, can you see it? Yeah. The name is John Peel. John Peel. That's a nice name for train. There's a quarry. There's a slate truck. A sugar truck. A very seven. That's wicked. You know what, we're so lucky to see Thomas buff up to the carriages for once instead of leaving them at the end of the day. Good morning to Daisy the diesel rail car. Good morning Daisy. There you go. Can't see from there, but since we go in the shed, there he is. Huh? Percy. Well, well, I don't know about that. Exhibit of Toad's head, but there's a spot Thomas competition. Yes. Well, let's have a look. Take a look at this. I wonder why. That is not good. We better ask for some info. Thomas is pulling the express. Oh, we can see Toad coming out. Come on. Hello, Toad. Morning. <laughs> We don't have time for trouble now. Because <laughs> we enjoyed the Thomas event. We might as well James said the fireman. Please, take me back to the stage in it's an emergency. Henry has a hate of leaving Toby. Never mind, Percy. You're taking the fire towards James. Here comes Percy with Toad in a minute. Here he comes. Well, time for trouble is on. Look at that. My James, whispered Toby. You're only joking. Ha ha! Said James. Your well, titles. Ha <laughs> ha! They're playing season three. A horrible day. Yeah, boring your brain. But this time it'll cheer us up. Hello, Toad. Hello, hello, Mr. Gabby. What about Mr. Co-Presenter? <laughs> I hope we've been... I don't want to miss Henry's Forest on no, season 3. Don't worry, you'll be there. You'll get to watch Henry's Forest. Everyone will show Donald's Duck, Donald's Ditch Fox, Donald's Birds and the Dragon. Diesel does it again. Yes. And then that'll be finished. Oh, I've got four episodes to wait. Yeah. Come on, Percy. I think he was doing a test run. Well, at least, well, we didn't have time for time for trouble, did we? I know it's a time for trouble. I'm going to sit down and watch it. <laughs> we met the DVD. <laughs> Where's he taking his time? It's a wet day. We must take care of wet day. Mm. We are off to the next. Here we go. <laughs> 
have a mic soon. Let's hope we don't crash. They don't know what they know. Well, I'm sure they're doing. Oh, God. Oh, look! Look at that! Where are we? Thanks, Thomas, for a lovely ride. Thank you very much, Thomas. The first engine we rode on today. Number, that's why he's number one. <laughs> Right, let's see what you... If Plate Thomas gets bumped, let's have a look at the bump. Let's go. Thank goodness, sighed Thomas. Thomas knows every Here he comes. his branch line. But just ahead was a stretch where the hot sun had bent the rails on the track. Here he comes. Careful, Thomas! Oh, it was too late. Smack him over! What the hell is that? That's done it, said his driver. We shan't get any further today. But what about my passengers? Don't worry. We have a look after. Goodbye, his driver. <laughs> hey, listen to this. See what happens. Swap! <laughs> Yes, Bertie, replied Thomas sadly. I can't run without my rails. Poor Thomas. Thomas Bertie and the Dragon is my favourite bit. Thomas was waiting for his mysterious love in the harbour. Centers and ashes! It's a dragon! Don't worry, not this driver. This dragon is made of paper. It's for the carnival tomorrow. What did I figure that? Workmen lifted the dragon onto Thomas's low loader and put lights all around it for protection. And Thomas. Gibble, 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 gibble. <laughs> I like that shot when he goes over the bridge. There he goes. Percy was asleep in his sunny Thomas was approaching. Look out! They waited for the engine to arrive. It came as a shock when he did. Good afternoon. Oh, square a ruffle in his oily voice. <laughs> that makes you think. The yeah. two engines have not worked with ruffles for a long time. What are you doing here? Gasped Duck. He only will be back. Uh, Sir Topham Pat sent me. I hope you are pleased to see me. I have to shove some dreadfully tiresome trucks. Well, said Percy suspiciously. Where? There's a monastery up there. Uh, Rough. We are going to nick them by their carpets. Easy, isn't it? With that, Diesel was it to make himself quite clear. Bump some trucks hard. Scream the trucks. Oh, shut up. Round Ruffles. What's coming up next? My favourite one. Is it? Based on the railway series by the Reverend Robert Audrey, adaptation by Brittle Croft. All oh, fingers crossed it is. Oh yes it is. Henry's Forest. My oh, most favourite one. <laughs>
Henry the Green Engine has lived on the island of Sodor for many years. He wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I like Toby as well. Thomas, Toby and Henry are my most favourite characters out of the Thomas series. It's peaceful. My most favourite. Hope Russia Red Square Pine is seeing this. The engines were resting in the shed. Listen, said Thomas. Can you hear a strange whistling sound? It's, it's the guard blowing his whistle for the next train. Right, Toby. But I've never heard it like this before. <laughs> Do you know? If Gordon wasn't here now, I'd say it was him thundering by with the freight trucks. <laughs> I hope the wind won't harm the forest. I can't get out! Henry's driver. There's the Scottish twins! Trees have fallen on the line. We must help clear the tracks. Go on, lads. Get the mystic sex of home before they do. There goes Percy. What will happen to all the animals who lived here? When Henry's fat trucks were full of logs, he took them to the timber mill, where they would be turned into furniture and other things. Henry was glad the wood was being put to good use, but he was still sorry to lose part of his forest. I cried on that bit, you know, the theme and all that, <laughs> when I first saw it. I wish there was something we could do to make things better again. Yes, indeed, replied Thomas, but what? We can't mend broken trees. When the trucks arrived, Toby was delighted. They were full of splendid young trees, all ready for planting. This is the best job I ever had, said Toby happily. When Henry returned, he was most surprised. The Trevor and Terry busily helping the workmen clear the tall stumps and branches. Look, Henry! called Terence. We're beginning again! The hillside will look better than ever before! You'll see! Now Henry can see the trees growing strong and tall, and the animals are coming back. Sometimes everywhere is quiet. At other times, Henry can hear leaves rustling or a bird's wing brushing the air. Often, he can hear the sound of children laughing and always, he is happy here. This is like, this is like last year, isn't it, when I yeah. did that? And, and I know this is actually true. Wilbur Audrey did not like this episode. Well, I love it. It's my most favourite episode ever. Like I keep saying so many times. Yes, you do. Michael Donald, Junior Campbell, Angus Wright, Steve Ashcraft, Christoph Garth, David Mitchin. Next on our ITV4 is ITV3 is a documentary of ITV2. I went to Cumberland on ITV4. And you went and said it all wrong. I know, I'll try that again next time. Oh look, just in time. <laughs> Thank you.